food is what gives us energy. Today, we want to talk about some healthy options to provide natural energy. Hint, hint, it's not a candy bar. <laughs> that surprised you, I would say that, right? Now, at the top of my list would be Kingdom Fuel. Tell oh, us a little bit about Kingdom Fuel. Well, the thing about Kingdom Fuel is people need to understand that it's a whole meal. It's not just a protein powder. It's a whole meal. It does have 20 grams of organic pea protein, which is the least allergenic of them. That's what we selected at. Then it has a whole spectrum of phytonutrients from your green plants and red plants. So think fruits and vegetables. Then it has fiber, both soluble and insoluble. And I'm not done yet. It also has a multivitamin and mineral complex. So it really has all of that in there. And when you think about energy in the body, energy is produced in this organelle called the mitochondria, which is inside of our cells. So the cells of the body depend on the mitochondria to produce the energy for your body to live. And so if you can provide the nutrition like Kingdom Fuel does in a holistic manner, you give the body a better chance to experience that abundance of energy. And you hit the nail on the head when you said nutrients that fuel the mitochondria. Yeah. We have a misconception that we need calories to make the mm. engine run, but it's really these things called micronutrients that are your B vitamins, magnesium, coenzyme Q10, and all those little things that are powerhouse functions off of. One of yeah. my favorite energy producing foods is avocados. Oh yeah. Not only is it rich in fiber, but it's also rich in good fats. And good fats are actually broken down by the mitochondria and converted into energy. Yeah. And funny thing about um, today, you know, we tend to think it's, it's, it's a little bit off and almost to the point of wrong, but that calories drive energy, but calories are nothing more than estimated units of energy from the breakdown of food products, right? From the nutritional ability or potential ability. And then you think about people that think they, the body is designed to run off of carbohydrates primarily, and it's not. It's meant to run off of this idea of a, of fats primarily. And so with, with Avocado, because it's a fruit, by the way. People knew that's a fruit. See, we got an avocado right there. That's a fruit. Most beautiful fruit, I think, we that I know of because it has an abundance of these monounsaturated fatty acids that really can be used as good sources of energy by the body. Well, for those of us that like to hike and like to get out in the woods and like to uh, carry something with us, we make a trail mix with things like nuts or mm -hmm. even pieces of cacao in them. And yeah. I like to add some goji berries to my trail mix yeah. because goji berries are very high in antioxidants. Plus, goji berries just by themselves, you can put them in your water and that antioxidant property and the components of the goji berries will diffuse into the water. Yeah, and you mentioned nuts and seeds. That's another source of what I would consider a good energy source. Now, very important Try to get plain nuts and seeds that are not bathed and sort of uh, roasted in these seed oils because the hotter the oil is, it's, I want people to think about like um, a big old boiling vat of grease that French fries <laughs> oh would dip my. in. Like yes. your French fry bucket, you've seen them back there. Yes. They dip it in there and they flash fry them and then you got French fries. Fries. We do the same thing with, with uh, nuts and seeds. They'll flash fry those in oils like that. But those hot oils are burned, and the burned oils will also create that... They're glycated. Yeah, fire, if you will, <laughs> or inflammation in your own body. So plain nuts and seeds, yes. Roasted nuts and seeds, especially the roasted with like canola oil, uh, peanut oil, sunflower oil, safflower mm -hmm. oil. Ixnay on those. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, if we want to preserve the aging process, we need to stay away from those glycated pro products mm. the, because they cause age glycated end products in the body. So it ages us quicker. Hey, so you want to hear something funny? This yeah. is kind of crazy. So the age glycated end products, the age, they bind to these receptor for these age glycosylated end products. Receptor R. So we got age brings rage. How about uh, that one, huh? Uh, the age brings rage, brings more age. <laughs> now that's like a vicious, yeah, vicious kind of like the vicious cookie cycle. It's, it's a worse vicious than the, age it's cycle. Vicious <laughs> oxidative stress cycle. There we go.
When it comes to fruits, it's important to kind of pick our fruits that have a lower glycemic index yeah. so it doesn't, you know, make our sugar go really crazy. Because if we get our sugar too high and we're exercising, we could potentially drop our sugars low. So a few of the fruits that I think are prudent to choose from are like bananas, a oh, yeah. semi-ripe banana. You know, the, the more the spots on a banana, the more the sugar in the banana. So a yeah. semi-ripe banana is probably ripe for the picking, if you will. I think so. Like a something that's not quite green but doesn't have spots Bunches. on it. That's perfect, and that would be a good thing that would generate a, a good amount. It has a good amount of nutrients that would potentially generate a good amount of energy. And apples. Apples have a uh, low glycemic index, plus they have yeah. apple pectin in them, a very healthy form of mm -hmm. uh, plant fiber. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what about the pineapple there? Pineapple contains this enzyme in it called bromelain. Mm -hmm. So an athlete who's running, that's a great running or performing or doing their sport. Pineapple is great after exercise because that bromelain can help break down some of those um, oxidative stress markers that happen with exercise. Well, and you can think about berries. I know people always think about those, right? Berries. Specifically, I would go for the darker berries. Mm -hmm. the, the darker berries have a higher antioxidant content. And those antioxidant, uh, that antioxidant uh, component is what balances that redox cycle. Yeah, and redox is the reductive and oxidative stress cycle that really the body goes through. There is a lot of information that we can give you obviously on food as it creates energy. The bottom line is it's nutrients that drive the processes to create energy. It's not the food that equates immediately to energy. So just kind of know that difference and, and select wisely kind of be giving you some neat tips here. And so that we have a bunch more stuff we do at our clinic. And if you want to work with us, either person or distantly, we would love to have that and we can help you fine-tune the best dietary intake to drive your nutritional properties in the way they ought to go. So reach out to us at Sherwood.tv or give us a call at our clinic. And when you navigate through these, these economies with people, here's, here's what happens. We want to hold their hand through it, let them know when it's time to buy, sell, reallocate, get out of Dodge. Because a lot of times when you're struck with fear, fear does two things. Number one, it can paralyze and, and people just put their head in the sand and say, I'm just going to forget about it and hopefully it gets better. Or it causes you to make a wrong decision. And this is why we are here is to help people navigate through the political quagmire nonsense that's going on, the economic malaise and the absolute collapse that we're seeing. And when our freedoms are eroding, our political freedoms, our economic freedoms, our personal freedoms, our religious freedoms, our health freedoms, they're all tied together. But you know what doesn't need to erode with that? Our finances. Kirk Elliott, PhD.com forward slash Sherwood. Let's get real. Most emergency food is just as bad for you as any other choice in the standard American diet. And that's just sad. We don't just need food. We need highly nutritional food. We don't just want to survive food shortages. We are meant to thrive in adversity. Complete your daily nutrition and have shelf-stable Kingdom Fuel as a cornerstone of your food supply. Don't sacrifice your health or your taste buds. Stock up on Kingdom Fuel now. The body's amazing at recovery, so you want to give it every chance, no matter what time it is. So in that context, no, it's certainly never too uh, late. You're never too old to start trying to be healthy. No matter where you are in terms of your health, that you can turn this around. It's never too late to start a wellness program, and it's never too late to reach your healthcare goals. I, there's an old adage, um, and I'm not sure where it came from, but I really do like it. And, they say um, the, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time is today. We just want people to hang on to hope. We are hope dealers. And if you are not paying attention to the four foundational pillars of health, physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual, 
eventually it is going to catch up. If we get all those four areas right and we do it right, we see a dynamic occur in the middle called wellness and that's where people uh, get better. Their health is really going to return as a side effect of wellness.